Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Multi-Axis Tutorials and Toolpath. This is our another one video on Mastercam Multi-Axis series and in this video we will learn about the Morph Toolpath as well as we will learn about that how we can apply a Morph Toolpath or we can say any particular toolpath for the roughing purpose where we have to define the stock, where we have to define the multiple passes against the stock where the material is available tool have to be cut only that portions so how things are working on how these are going on so this is a very important video for each and every single person who want to understand how we can create a roughing with the help of multi axis how we can do uh, the rest material against the multi axis and in this video in the morph tool path we will also learn about some deep and advanced options also so if you are new on this channel please first go and start to watch from starting our multi axis video 1 to series as we created and if you don't watch our more previous tool path first go and finish it complete that one practice exercise if you can't do so we will get a uh, very little bit knowledge about it so let we have to start on this one that how we can create a particular tool path uh, for this one where we have to create a tool path against the stock so before we learn about how to create tool path first I would like to show you the simulation of this one particular part so for create a simulation here I in level I have there is a fixture is available right at here this is my fixture this is my part and stock is also available so for creating a tool path first I have to go in a simulator option in a simulator option at here I define the stock at here I define the fixture in a simulation I define my particular proper machine and now I would like to show create a 5-axis simulation so to create a 5-axis simulation on machine I have to click on a simulation and now we are at here on a proper machine as you can see here this is my 5-axis DMU DMG machine but this is a mirror so I click on here and just say hi so now my mirrors are removing from here and now I can watch properly how it's going on and how my tool work and removing the material so when it's starting to cut as you can see here this will perform properly as it is visible right at here if I would like to speed up my tool path I can increase the speed so this is the first pass if I want to hide uh, my machine body so I can click on a machine housing again click on machine housing so that's as you can see here now machine housing is removing so now as you can see here this is my complete part which is right created right at here and that is created with the help of morph tool path with the proper way if you want to see watch this again just to have a look first pass second pass third pass and with the step by step it's created and complete the entire portion and make the part as per the model as per the requirement as the profile we are created so this is when you have machine simulation and something like that so it is very easy to you understand how 5 x is working how when we put this part on a machine how it will be work so now you will understand about how we can create a proper tool path for this one part now we have to back to the over mastercam tool path page now first when we starting to create this tool path the first option is I have to delete every single parameter and back to the default values so click on delete all operations and just say ok now right at here I just uh, hide my fixture also my workpiece also and just on the stock value only I have to go in stock model click on a model and define select model with the control A and change a particular color and name the stock this is my stock and just say ok now I have to come to the back to the part and hide my stock from the level and now just hide this one now gentlemen we have to create a proper tool path with the help of uh, right on this one profile so for creating a tool path we have to go on a mastercam multi axis tool path in a multi axis tool path the tool path which we are going to apply here this is called a morph so before applying this tool path I have to came in a level and on TP geometry it means I already create a proper geometry or a chain for this one proper model if you don't know how we or you don't have 
the geometry for any kind of these kind of models so you have to go in a wireframe you can create with the help of curve on edge now in the next step we have to create a tool path that is called morph so creating a tool path morph we have to go in a tool path and select a morph when we are clicking on a morph first step is we have to defining our tool so we have to came in a flat end mill defining a 12 mm of flat end mill we have to click on a double click and increase the total length of my tool approx 30 mm and just a face in the next step you have to define the holder proper holder of this one part and after that we have to came to the stop so first this is my stop portion and we will learn uh, multiple and most of the operations from this page but for, before we came to stop and defining the value first we have to create a tool path without the stop so we came to the cut parameter in a cut parameter there are pattern type there are two options with the help of curve and with the help of service so now we are choosing with the help of curve just click on this this is my first curve and pattern to it means we have to defining the second curve and at here we have to defining uh, the machining geometry this is and this both are the my machining geometry so right at here i defining the machining geometry for uh, minimize the tool part time i reduce the cord cut tolerance value 0.1 and now we have to came in a tool axis control in a tool axis control i just define the full 5 axis machinery in collision control i turn off the collision control in a linking parameter all i make no changes and just say okay so as you can see here when i just click or write it here and create a tool path so as you can see here the first mistake is my tool is collide with the side surfaces now how i can control this one so as you know i choose the tool which diameter is 12 mm so at here there are the multiple options that we have to apply so for controlling this we have to come in a cut parameter and in a cut parameter there is one option right at here in a cut pattern we have to first define full start and end of extend surface when i defining this one so there is one option open at here that is margins how what margin you want to define it right at here so I just say 6 mm, it means one side radius either here and 6 mm the end side. In a cut parameter, I in a step over, I just add the step over value is 8 mm and just say OK. So as you can see here, my tool path is created, but as you can see here, my this tool path is starting to cut from this point. Now my first mistake, my first mistake is covered properly and tool is going in a good way. But there is one issue that tool is not much smoother because it's starting to cut from the one side to the another side. So I came back to the parameter in a cut pattern. I have to say uh, start from center to away. It means it start to cut in a center and after that it will be going away to the part. So as you can see here, when I start to cut, so it's going to take lifting each time. So how we can control that lifting? I have to came in a parameter and in a linking parameter. In a linking parameter, I have to define a blend spiral for the large gap also. And just say okay. So as you can see here, this is also done properly. So as you can see here, my tool path is created proper in a proper way. As you can see here, there is no collision, no avoidance, nothing. It's a proper and a perfect way. Now we have to understand how we can create this tool path in a proper way with the help of the stock, with the reference of the stock. So for creating a tool path again the stock, it means we have to came in a parameter. In a parameter, we have to came in a stock page. Turn on the stock. There are the multiple method you have to define in the stock. You can define the direct job 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 setup you can define the stock model with the help of this is my stock which i already created at the starting of this video and you can also make with the help of user define and i just say okay so what is the meaning of this now my tool path is created right at here but now i have to came with the multiple passes multiple passes because now the tool path is looking like this all the things are completed just with the help of single pass but if this will when it's cutting so that time material have a higher depth so how we can define the multiple depth so for that one i have to came in a parameter came to the roughing turn on the roughing 
the number of passes for example I just say 5 passes and what is the desktop cut I just say desktop cut is 3 mm if you want to make some finish passes you can define it right here and otherwise you can say ok so write it here as you can see here this is now my toolpath is created like this there is stock is available just write it here so it's cut only at this one portion at the first pass now this portion is second pass now this is the, my third pass now this is my fourth pass because this is the prop in a proper way and material and after completing of this my final fifth pass so toolpath is created in a proper way like where the material is available then it's take cut for example write it here I turn off the stock so what will happen if I turn off the stock so what will happen my toolpath will be created but it will be created in the entire portion but when I define the stock value so it will be automatically trim as per the material area so that is the best way how you can do the roughing passes you can define the roughing passes okay this is my tool material and against this material we have to create the toolpath now there are some uh, best tricks are also available in the master cam what are the best tricks let me show you I have to came back to the parameter for example in a roughing passes I define the depth of cut 5 mm now have a look toolpath is created like this now I have to came in a back to the parameter in the stock page there is one option stock adjustment you where you can expand the stock and shrink the stock at here I just say my stock is expanded for the 10 mm or 8 mm so what will happen over toolpath will be created extra at that time what is the reason behind that because we are saying 8 mm it means the total diameter value it added 8 mm extra for example if I just say from the total value I just say the my uh, stock is shrink for the 8 mm and just say ok that time what is happening Uh, shrink for example 5 mm so as you can see here when I define the 8 mm so that time the entire material was finished for example I define the 5 mm so what is happening it means from the total diameter value of the stock it automatically shrinks the 5 mm so that is the way where you can if you have any stock and you are not sure that maybe it is 4 mm or 5 mm extra so you can directly came at here and you can expand and shrink the stock value with the help of this so this is the best way that how you can create a toolpath with the help of morph against the stock now I would like to add something that this is toolpath is created with the right at here but for example if you want to create the toolpath for this one portion and this one more portion also so we can create uh, it means we can rotate the same toolpath for the remaining also too for that one I have to came in a parameter I have to came in a utility at here I have to came and select transform and translate the rotary axis it should be Z total number of steps it's 3 start angle if you have a custom start angle you can define it right at here and rotation angle it means 360 the total angle uh, total degree and the total number of value are 3 total number of profiles are 3 so we have to define the value auto automatically calculate 120 and I just say ok so as you can see when I just say ok so toolpath is created but how it's looking like it is looking like that when one toolpath is finished so that time the second toolpath will be came in a proper way in a parameter you can define some more values with the help of here in a certain pass you can say the complete toolpath it means once your first toolpath will be completed after that it will going to be the next toolpath there are some uh, good values are also available right at here you can also defining the multiple portions uh, with the help of the multiple parameter 
I hope you guys get understand about each and every single parameter for the morph toolpath and how we can apply this toolpath with the against the stock value and create a proper roughing with the step by step and slice by slice. So if you have any question or doubt with this kind of toolpath, so let us know. If you need these model files, please go and join our YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.